Welcome back guys, it's been a fish here, back at you with another video. We're back on the lake today. I got one goal and one goal only in mind. Everybody catches like two to five pound bowfin on the internet. I'm here to show you how big they actually get. Let's go. First order of business is getting some bait, wow. A lot going on today. First order of business is getting some bait. I tried this the other day, but I, I skunked trying to catch a bluegill for bait. I couldn't catch a bluegill. I actually had to get bait today so I could try to catch bait. I even tried catching like spotted sunfish in the canals, no dice, so. We got little grass shrimpies. Doesn't matter how these bluegill will eat it. And I'm just gonna cast it on the edge of these pads and wait. That's it. Alrighty then, guys. It was really tough. <laughs> I used like, I don't even know, like 10 grass shrimp just to get that one bluegill. But we're further than we were last time because we got bait. All right, here's the rig. That's right, boys and girls. We're busting out the bait caster. Bass Pro Shops Pro Qualifier 2. It's a 6 8 to 1 gear ratio. I have it loaded up with. 40 pound power pro and I actually broke my bait caster on a hook set on one of these bowfin last time I came out here so I had to upgrade the weight of my rod so this is actually an inshore rod it's a three fourths to three ounce lure rating 12 to 25 pound rod it is an absolute meat stick man like it's a telephone pole the thing barely bent so we're gonna be putting the hammer on them today with this thing they broke my medium heavy, so we went up to a heavy. So I tied an FG knot to 30 pound monofilament leader. And it's, it's a long leader going into my guides just in case I have to keep retying. And right here we've got a 4 aught owner inshore kale hook, snelled. Kale hooks work great for bowfin. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of circle hooks for bowfin. I actually fish kale hooks like circle hooks for them, and it works really well. And we're just going to be free lining these cut baits. Bowfin cannot resist cannot resist right that right there that is bowfin candy a little bit small for the fish i'm after today but we're going to head over here to this cove we have this pad field behind me and you have these trees here these cypress line and basically last time i was here doing this i was throwing these bluegills up against that cypress line and just waiting but what i did wrong last time was i waited in the pads and the bowfin were getting in the pads and just getting the best of me and coming off it was really unfortunate. They were monsters. So this time I'm going to anchor up over here in the open water and fish towards the shallow so I can bring the fish to me in open water. Unfortunately, I forgot my net today. No landing net and that <laughs> not a very good thing when you're fishing for bowfin, especially from a little canoe. But we'll, we should be able to make do, at least hopefully. I brought my good old bowfin glove somewhere around here. Here it is, bowfin glove. Y'all don't make fun of the glove. The glove is necessary. If you use grippers, you're, you're an expletive. I'm just gonna toss the anchor right out over here and we're gonna start fishing. Alrighty then, pick up the caster. In the tree already, in the tree, out of the tree. That's actually a pretty good spot. I'm actually surprised at how well I just casted that. I'm not very experienced with bait casters, as you could probably guess, because I've never used one on the two years of fishing on my channel. Setting the spool tensioner. I'm gonna just free spool it while I wait for a bite. That's it. Now we wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a stick fish. We got us a dinker. Oh God. We got us a dinker pump. <laughs> Jesus, what the heck? <laughs> My God. What the freak? These things are so strong, bro. This little fish. He ain't gonna break my 30. I'm just gonna flip them. Nice. Look at that. Nice fin. It's been a long time since I caught one of these things. Look at the scarring. They've definitely been spawning. And it's real pretty looking too. Look, trying to bite me. That's what we got the glove for. That is a little dude, man. That might be the smallest bowfin I've ever caught out of this lake. 
Oh, dang it. I didn't get a picture of them. Hook's still sharp. There's zero fray. That was perfect, guys. So we're just going to bait up again. I'm going to try a bigger bait this time and throw out there. Hopefully, we get a bigger fish next this time. That was an absolute dinker. All right. Let's go over here this time. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, shoot. See, guys, when that happens, you miss fish. Points dug into the meat. How does that happen? Try that again. All right, guys, we got one on. That's a monster. He's hung me up in something. Oh, it ain't a monster. It's a good one though. He's literally not fighting. What the heck? I probably gut hooked it. That's a good fish. Let's see if we can help this guy out a bit. Oh my God, they're violent. Freaking lake water, nasty, bro. This thing is owning me. Ah, oh, I cannot do this without a landing net. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's a good butt. This is why people don't target them. Because they kick your ass. Jeez, you spilled my water bottle, man. Oh, it was close. That's good. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it's dangerous in there. I'm going to show, show you what you do instead of messing with them. Instead of messing with these fish and hurting them. Luckily, these things can breathe air, so I'm not really worried about that aspect of it. Got the lineup. Come on, bro. The more you struggle, the worse this is going to be for you, bro. I know you can't understand me, but damn it. I wish you could. Look. Snapped. The point is still in him, but he's going to be able to get it out. He's going to be able to pass it because only one side of it is in him. <sighs> That's a monster. That's a stud mud. Stud mud! Stud mud, baby! Stud mud! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Urgh, big old bow fin. That fish <laughs> made a mess of me, man. Let's see if I can get my life together here. and We're going to go for one more. I got one more piece of cut bait, but I gotta edit this video out. I gotta edit this video and get it out to you guys. This this one should be out today. So, but man, that was a nice one. Not as good as the ones I was hooking the other week, but that's about the size I was trying to show YouTube today. So, I am happy with that result for sure. But <laughs> I know that was hilarious how that thing kicked my ass. It absolutely destroyed me. And that's what they do, man. That's why everyone hates them. Exactly why everyone hates them. Oh, no, my apple. I almost went overboard. Mission somewhat accomplished. I showed you guys how big Bofin can get. That was a pretty big fish, but I've hooked much, much bigger in this lake. Way bigger than that, actually. That was probably about like a seven or eight pounder. I've hooked some fish like 13, 14, 15 pounds in here, so. There are absolute giants. We didn't get them today. I actually have only been on the water for about three hours, but I gotta get this video edited, so I'm about to head home right now and go edit this up for you guys. But before I call it a day, look at all them birds. What are them birds doing? Don't let how that big fish acted influence how you feel about Bofin. He really just rolled in. That is the first and only time that has ever happened to me. But like I said, it was because he was, he was hooked badly. Usually they go berserk and crazy peeling drag jumping digging they do everything they, they 
They got the whole arsenal of fish tricks. But we're, we're gonna come back for them soon. Mark my words, we'll be back here soon for them, but I'm gonna call it a day so I can get some content out for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's it, thank y'all. Thank you.